In this video, I'm going to share to you how I make a song cover. Just a heads up, I am not a pro on editing videos. My song cover videos are pretty much simple only. And I only use a phone to edit uh, my videos. But anyway, as requested, there it is. I'll be showing you how I make a song cover or a video. Okay, so uh, right now I will be using M9 sound card to record a song cover. This device uh, I will be using as my background music, not my camera. The camera I'll be using, I'm just using the, the camera from here right now so you can see me as well talking, but the camera I'll be using to record my video is this camera right here. So this is the camera or the phone I will be using to record video. And from here, this is gonna be the source of my karaoke song. As I mentioned, this device is what I am going to use as the source of the karaoke um, karaoke song or background music. Okay, to get started, I'm going to first connect the condenser microphone. Okay, so of course, let's connect it from here and let's connect this one to the back of this uh, M9 sound card. So you just select mic one or two. So let's select mic two. And one of these we are going to uh, use. I am going to connect this one from the one that says backing track. Okay, so backing track and then connected to this phone. And by the way, since this phone doesn't have a headphone jack up there, I'll be using this lightning audio adapter. So of course the end of this cord goes here and then one end goes there. And now for the phone, uh, for the phone that I will be using to uh, record this, uh, this video, just select this one or this one. So it's like live one or live two. So you just select either one of this one. So let's connect one. And then the other cord I will be connecting to this phone that I'm using for recording. And since uh, this, uh, iPhone that I will be using to record this uh, uh, song cover doesn't have an audio jack as well, then you will need another lightning audio adapter for the other phone. Again, this is the phone I will be using to record. So this other end, I will be connecting over here. Okay, so something like that. And of course, so for me to be able to hear also the instrument, I will be using a headset or a headphone. Okay, so let's connect this one to the one that says uh, a headset or earphone, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's connect it to headset. Okay, there it is. And now you're all set. And now you just have to find a spot where you want to sit. And if you have lightings, uh, whatever you have, then you can use them. And now I'm all good to start. So as you can see, I've moved this M9 here because uh, this cord here is, is too short. It doesn't reach to this phone that I will be using to record. So I have moved them here closer to me. I just place them on top of this uh, chair, including the source for the background music. Okay, so let's do it. that I have 
taking the video what I will do is I'm gonna go open the photos okay so as you can see these are the videos I have taken and some pictures so the one that has uh, seven minutes and seven seconds this is the uh, video for the song cover and this is the video I will be editing and again as I mentioned earlier the application that I'm going to use is the KineMaster to edit my video. And to give you a heads up, I'm not a pro on editing videos. This is just pretty basic. And hopefully it gives you an idea also, especially for the beginners, how to use this application to edit your videos. Okay, so let's now open the KineMaster application. Okay, so from here, I'm going to tap uh, the one that says create new and aspect ratio the 16 is to 2 this is the advisable ratio for youtube videos so i'm okay with that and now i'm gonna tap next okay from here i'm going to enter or i'm going to choose the video that i just recorded so select uh, media or tap the media from here select all okay and again the one that has seven minutes uh, and over, this is the one, th this is the video that we will be editing. Okay, so now that we uh, we selected that and it's uh, down there already, so that means it's, it's now here ready for editing. And we can now tap yes, or the check mark. And now, uh, as you can see, this video is seven minutes and over i'm going to cut this one because it's long so when we're saving it later it won't take long so maybe i'll cut it up to 35 seconds just tap the this video and you will see the red line on here if you want to cut all the way to the right you just tap the scissor icon on top so once it's uh, selected you have two options to do. It's either you choose the second one, the one that says trim to the right, and it will delete everything to the right from that red line. Or if you want to split at playhead, it will split first, and then you can decide if you want to delete everything to the right or no. So let's uh, try, for example, uh, uh, selecting the first one, trim to right of playhead. Okay, so there it is. So as you can see, it, uh, uh, it trimmed all the videos to the right from this part here so if we're gonna go back let's just uh, tap this one here uh, it's like an undo button or undo icon so if you want so again tap the video and then the scissor and then if you want to select split at playhead so it will split it only split the the video into two so this is the one we want to keep and this is the one you we want to delete so just uh, because that is the highlighted one then just uh, Tap the trash can over there to delete it. There it is. So it's also deleted the other part of it that we do not want. So now if we're going back to the first portion of it. Okay, so as you can see, the first portion, I'm not yet ready. So what I will do is I am going to uh, choose first the frame or the part where I wanted to start uh, my video. Okay, let's say for example, I'm good from here. So again, I am going to delete this time the portion of the, the first portion of the video from that red line. So same thing, it's up to you. Tap the, now that the video is highlighted, tap the scissor and then you can just select uh, to trim the first option, the one that says trim to the left. So this time to the left and it will trim everything to the left or if you want to split or split it first and then delete it's up to you so let's say for example we're going to just trim right away the first portion of it from the red line okay so let's do that and it's uh, trimmed it, the first portion was, was cut off and by the way we can tap now the check mark from here if we're good and uh, from here if you want to add some intros to your video of course you can because uh, in this uh, song the first portion is just instrumental so it's up to you if you want to add some text let's say for example you want to add some title to your song okay so to do that you just select layer go to layer and select text and let's say for example i'm going to add a title of the song so i'm so i'm going to type in on here Okay, so this is the title of the song and then I tap the check mark. Okay, so it's there. Now if you want to change the font, 
so you will see this uh, font icon on here just open that and now you can select the font you wanted it to use and and if the font is still not showing on here just stop the store icon over there and then here are some different types of font that you can use you just have to download it first and it will go there so let's uh, move uh, let's go out from there okay let's say for example i am going to use this one here uh, okay so let's use that and let's hit okay or the check mark okay and from here you can zoom it in or out if you want to uh, make it bigger or smaller so just simply drag it like like that or you can pinch it you can use two fingers pinch in or out and it will it will uh, make it smaller or bigger or even that arrow there double arrow on both ends you can just uh, drag it with one finger then it also changes the size of your text now let's say for example i wanted it to move over there so how did i do, how, how did i do that i just simply tap on the letter and then drag it to wherever you wanted to place it okay let's say for example we're going to be putting it over there and now to change the color let's say for example you wanted to change the color other than white so uh, you can see the the one the icon here that says color just tap that and now you can select what color you want it to use let's say for example i want to use the yellow color and then tap yes and there it is it changes uh, the font to yellow and now if you still want to add more effects to that uh, uh, text then you just have to scroll up and here are the options so you can put outline shadow glow or background so it's up to you to decide you can play around with it let's say for example we are going to use it the outline okay so outline first you have to enable it so to tap this one to enable there it is it's enable and then the default outline is in black now to change it just tap the black color and now select the color you want to use as your outline let's say for example we want to use this one here and hit yeah yes or the check mark so there it is now to change the outline let's say if you want it thicker or thinner just slide this one here to the right or left so if you slide it to the right the outline of the letter letter is to become thicker and if you slide it to the left it's it becomes thinner okay let's say for example we're good at this and let's hit the check okay and now if you're going to let's say you don't want to your text to or the title to show up right away then just simply tap the title from here and hold tap and hold and drag it to wherever you want your text to show up let's say for example you wanted it to show up from that portion so if you go back and play it will not show right away but it will show from here not from there okay so now the way this uh, title to show up you still have options so in other words if you want to animate that text you can so if you look over here there is uh, there is this option in animation and out animation you can also use overall animation but it's up to you i would normally use only the in animation and out animation so the in animation that is how you want your text to show up so let's uh, tap that and now from here you can test uh, these options here uh, let's say for example you wanted to, to select fade or pop or slide to the right or to the left or slide up so let's just select uh, uh, slide slide down okay there you go and uh, from here uh, you can still decide however way you want to show it let's say faster or slower so if you uh, scroll it to the left then it's faster then if you scroll it to the right it shows slowly okay so something like that so if, if we're good at that then tap check again okay and now if you want to, to animate however way you want your text to go away you can do the same thing tap the text and then select out animation this time okay so same thing you can play around however way you wanted your text to go away let's say we will select slide up and uh, we'll make it go away a little bit slowly there so maybe we're good at the, this one here and we'll tap uh, check the check mark or yes 
And now if we want to add the composer's name, let's go back to layer and uh, tap the text. And now let's type in the composer's name. And then tap OK or the check mark. Now to change the font, then go back to the font icon again and select, uh, let's say we're going to select this one. And uh, from here, uh, as you can see, it starts the same as the title. So if you want it to show up a little bit later, then just tap and hold that and move it to the right a little bit. So something uh, like that. And uh, so as you can see, the title will end sooner than the than the composer's name. So what you will do is uh, maybe cut it from right there. So same thing to cut it, uh, just tap the scissor icon over there and then select the second option, trim to right of playhead. There it is. Okay, so same thing if you want to change the, the font or, or the color, then just go to the color and let's say we wanted to select maybe the blue, uh, maybe the blue. And then if you want to, to add an outline, let's say outline to white, then enable first the outline and then select the black and then select, uh, select, uh, change it to white. So now that you selected white and then hit OK and there it is. So same thing, if you want the outline color to be thinner, then slide this one to the left or if you want it more thicker to the right. So let's say we're good at this, then uh, let's tap again the check uh, icon over there. And so if we're going back over here, let's uh, tap that uh, text again and let's move it. So tap and hold and move it here. And we wanted it smaller because that is the composer and then the title. So let's, to make it smaller, same thing, pinch it inside or, or simply this uh, like arrow, drag it in or out. Then, so it should show like that. And same thing if you want to animate the composer's name. Um, okay, so if we're going to play it. Okay, so as you can see, there is no animation yet for the composer. So if you want to add, uh, go back to the in animation. And this time, if you want to select a different type of animation, you can. So let's say pop. So that's how fast it shows also. So if you wanted it slower to show up, then just drag this one to the right or maybe all the way. Okay, so something like that. And now tap that and uh, tap anywhere and then you should be good. And now the out animation, tap it again. If you want to, to add out animation, just uh, select that. And then let's say we wanted a fade this time. Okay, so something like that. So if you're good at it, then uh, let's uh, tap yes or tap anywhere. Then it's like uh, saying yes also to everything. There it is. Okay, so if we're going to play it, it should show like this. Okay, there it is. Okay, so now if you want to add, let's say, some background to your video, you just go to a layer and uh, go to stickers. There is a lot of effects. You can even go to effects or stickers. So let's just select stickers for this time. Okay, so from here, these are the uh, stickers I have downloaded already. If you haven't downloaded yet, just select that store icon over there. There's lots of options on here. So those ones and this one, if you want to add some of the stickers or animations. And uh, let's say, for example, let's go to special effects. Okay, so from here, uh, it looks like most of them, if not all, are free version. So you can download them even if you do, do not purchase the application. Okay, so let's say, for example, let's select the glitters. Okay, so it says here I installed it already and it's a free version. So you can use this one even if you don't purchase the application. That's why I like uh, I like uh, KineMaster. But anyway, I did purchase it because I, I used it often. So anyway, so let's go out from here and X out from there. And let's just go or select that uh, glitters because I downloaded it already. It should, should be here. There it is. So glitters. Let's open it. So now from here, you can keep trying whichever one to use. So it uh, should so show like that. Let's say, for example, let's use this one here. 
okay so now that it's selected you can hit tap anywhere to hit that's uh, the like okay or the check mark there it is so if you tap that glitters again or even from there so uh, you can same thing you can make it bigger or smaller and position it to wherever you want so let's say for example in this corner here you can uh, turn it or however way you want as well so something like that so let's say for example i am going to move this one or position this one to this corner so i'm gonna put it like that and if you want it some more bigger then pinch it inwards or outwards it's up to you smaller or bigger so what i will do i'm just going to drag this arrow to make it bigger and maybe move it down maybe something like that okay and then tap anywhere and you should be good now if you we want to test it then just uh, let's just hit play okay there it is so that's uh what would it it would look like now if you want because from here it will end up to here only and then over here that uh, that glitters like effect will not show anymore if you want that to show up all the way up to the end of your video just simply tap that glitters again and then at the end the one that has dots at the end just hold it and drag it up to the end of your video okay so 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 up to there so that when you're playing it it will go all the way up to the end and it's still there okay and uh, now uh, for example you want to add another animation aside from that let's just say we're gonna cut this one let's just say we're gonna cut this one from there okay so like this glitter effects we're gonna cut it from there so tap the scissor and then tap the trim to right so so that it will not show uh, from this portion here so what we will do let's say we will add another effects to the video to the entire video this time we will tap the the video so this video here so once it's selected you have go, just scroll up and you should see this one clip graphics so this is a good one also for this the kinemaster so from here if you haven't uh, downloaded it yet there are a lot of effects graphics uh, effects that you can use which is okay or good also for free version so just go to the store icon and same thing in here I, I believe most of them doesn't show premium so which means you can use them even if you do not purchase the application so a lot of, uh, of options here okay since i have downloaded already some of them okay let's just go out from here and so these are the ones i downloaded let's say for example i'm going to use the split output so i'm gonna tap that and from here you can select whichever one you want to use and again this effect will show up to the end of your video okay let's say for example we are going to use this effect on here and then we're gonna tap the check mark or okay so if we're going to scroll this one from here up to there up to the end so you will notice the effect is there for the video Okay, let's just uh, play it from the beginning but we're not going to be watching until the end so let's see let's uh, watch okay there it is so as you can see it's still showing this one and it will show that effect until the end of the video but not the first one not the glitter effects but if you want the glitters to show up also until the end of the video so as i showed you earlier from here after you tap the glitters and then drag this one until the end if you want to, this one to show up as well so let's say up to there so it's going to be there until the end okay now if you want to add a text at the end maybe you wanted it to you wanted to add a text saying thanks for watching of course you can as well so again go to layer and then text and then type in thanks for watching okay and then hit okay or check mark and so as you can see it's uh, sticking out this uh, this uh, text so you can either cut it or drag it to the left 
So if, uh, if I do not want to cut it, so just simply tap this end here and then oh, do not, uh, okay, just the end portion and then drag it to the left. There it is. So let's say we wanted it to be that way. And then if you want to add animation, uh, same as I showed you earlier, put animation, maybe uh, pop and then, okay, let's say we're good at that and then hit okay. And then tap that one again and add out animation, maybe fade again or yeah, maybe fade and then hit OK. And now tap that again. If you want to change the font, go to font. And then let's say, let's uh, select this uh, type of font and hit OK. And now you wanted it to make it bigger maybe. So just drag that icon there. So let's say if you're good at that size, then, then that's good. And now if you want to position this one, just tap that one and then move it to wherever you wanted it to position. And you can also uh, turn this one if you want. So let's say here, like this one, you can turn it however way you want it to, this text to show up. So maybe let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, maybe that's good. So that when we play from here, it should show like this. Okay, so there it is. Uh, I will not be uh, showing you the entire video because it's very long, it's six minutes, so at least I showed you already uh, how to edit the video and how to like set up uh, to record your video. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, I am not a pro. There is a lot more to learn. Even myself, I'm still, I'm still learning, but I'm hoping that uh, this video at least will give you an idea how to make it your own and and also of course from this video you can explore it uh, some more and now i'm almost ready to save the video but before i do that let me tap this video again and then or highlight the video and then go to mixer open it and from here i would normally select auto volume so what it does it it somehow normalizes uh, the audio let's say for example if it's too loud then it's not that loud anymore or if it's too low then it adds it, it boosts uh, the volume but anyway if you still want it more louder you can still make it more louder by you know this the first lighter on here so you can still turn it up or down if you want so it's it's up to you you can play around with that so again, if I'm, let's say for example, I'm good with that, then I would tap OK. And from here to save the video, then just uh, tap this icon up. And from here, I would normally select the highest possible resolution and frame rate and also the byte rate. So I'm just going to slide this all the way to the right. And from here, it will show you how much is the size of the video you are saving. So from here, it says 361 megabyte. So if you're good with that, then save as video. So let's uh, tap that. Just uh, a reminder, the higher resolution is it you are saving and also the frame rate and the byte rate, the longer it is to take to save the video. But in this case, it will not take long because we did not save a longer, the full song only a little portion of it so i don't think it will take that long but again just a heads up that what it would uh, look like if in case it's a longer video and it's in 4k and in higher byte rate and uh, and frame rate okay so it is uh, almost done but but again if you have enough storage why not so again the higher in my opinion is the better Okay, we're almost done saving the video. And again, if you want to cancel it, let's say you forgot something, just simply hit cancel and go back and then save again. There it is. So it's now save. Now from here, if you want to share it right away, you can by tapping this icon up here. But in my opinion, I would normally want to watch it first to check before I share it. Let's say upload it to YouTube or Facebook or wherever or Instagram. Okay, now we're good. Let's uh, go out from here and let's go to photos because it should be here. Okay, so the the last uh, video here should be the one. Okay, let's uh, open it. Okay, let's just uh, turn it like that. And then let's just pause it first. And then let's uh, turn on the speaker and let's uh, try watching it.
portion should be that and then the last portion should show like this okay so again as i mentioned i'm not going to be showing you the full uh, song because uh, it's uh, very long i know this video is is long already so i wanted to add i don't want to add some more of it and this is all i can share for today if you like this type of video please hit the like button and if you want more of this type of video please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell as well so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos i will be posting keep safe and until next time